I just want to make an update for you guys about what's been going on lately with all my tanks. Um, as you can see, I'm missing two fish, which are the Lawanda and the Taiwan Reef. The Taiwan Reef sadly has died from sunken belly and internal parasites. I tried my best to, you know, help him live and stuff. He was in quarantine, but he just didn't make it. So it pretty much sucks to lose such a big and nice fish. And, you know, I really like that fish and, you know, that's okay. But the Lawanda, um, he's gotten beaten up by the German ram and this German ram is starting to become more dominant and he's starting to get more color um, you can't really see it from there but yeah he's definitely getting more color guys so there he is he was a juice male when I bought him and then now he lost his color and then now he's getting his color back so that's always good um, so yeah this tank's been going pretty well um, all the fish are getting bigger and bigger and there's nothing really much going on with this tank I'll let me get let me get to the 75 and show you what's going on there hey guys um, so this is a 75 as you can see from what it used to be before it's much cleaner right yeah um, I've separated this guy because, um, he has the sunken belly and internal parasites. Not as bad as what the Taiwan Reef has, but I'm treating with these two flakes, Benavidazole and Metronazole, I can't say it, but Metronazole or something. Um, added a wave maker, uh. Let's see, I've lost a couple of fish. I do not know why. Um, probably from, like, I lost some fish from my Toronto. Like, I lost my baby fish when I went to Toronto. Not Toronto, but, like, just toured around Canada. And, yeah, I lost, uh, like, I think one or two fish. So that's not good, but that's okay. Left this Synodontis Niagara Venter here. Apparently, I've gotten... Synodontis um, eruptus, which is that big fish right there, and he's not actually that rude, like, he's not that mean to them, so I thought he was just going to be super mean to them, so I was going to get ready to take them out, but they're po coexistingly, I mean, like, they're coexisting really nicely, so this guy's just, that just proves to say, like, if you give a fish enough hiding places and just make them happy, there's no reason for it to be aggressive. Now, some fish... You know, they're just going to be killers and stuff, but you can't stop that. So yeah, this tank's going pretty well. I took out some of the fish, moved them to the 125. Um, yeah, nothing much going on here. Okay, so I'll show you the Lawanda. The Lawanda is, I'm not going to turn on the light because I don't want to stress him out. But there he is. I'm going to sell him because I don't feel like... He is a big fish, right? And if he gets beaten up by a German Ray, right? I'm not sure he can survive very long. And I think I think somebody else can take him in. I know he's a little bit old, but like, I'm just trading it in for the LFS. Maybe just get another fish. I don't know, maybe get some other fish, you know. And I don't, I'd love to keep this fish, honestly. I'd love to keep this fish, but honestly, I don't have enough space. And then, um, I got the grow out tank with some little fish in there, and I just don't have enough space, so I decided to leave him go, because I know he's a rare fish, but, you know, I'm just gonna have to do it. I might get another one, because, you know, Lawandas are known for being super aggressive, and this one is a really nice one. I'm pretty sure they're known for being aggressive, so this one's a really nice one, so... Maybe someone, you know, somebody else can get, like, enjoy this fish. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, thanks for watching.